Yo, what is going on boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Slug, back at it again with a, another YouTube video. Now in today's episode, we are continuing on with our Alliance Wars series for Season 35. Uh, but first and foremost guys, a big thank you, the channel has recently hit 300 subs, uh, so I'm incredibly thankful for all of your support along the way. However, you guys may have noticed I've been a little bit inactive for the past few weeks, I've just had quite a bit of uni work to keep on top of, uh, but nevertheless, we are back and I am good to go. So as always, it'd be greatly appreciated if you guys left a like and comment on the video, all that good stuff, it does help me out. But without further ado, boys and girls, let's jump into it. Rightio, so Alliance War, Season 35. So my alliance, Ozumbi, is up against Eslaw. Now I believe this is War 8 within Season 35 Plat 2 Wars. So the attackers that I've been assigned with for this war in particular are Archangel, Kitty and Apocalypse. So with these attackers I believe I'll be doing Path 7 in Section 1 and then Path 3 in Section 2. And then as always hoping to make a contribution within the Diamond section. Now in terms of our featured fights we have a lot of content to get through today guys. Uh, so the boys in my alliance that I brought along today uh, Twist, Exclusive and Obsol. Uh, they're going to be showcasing their Nebula, Falcon, Archangel, Angela, Eyebomb and She-Hulk fights for you guys. So sit back, relax, I promise to get through all of this content as quick as I can. Uh, but without further ado, enough of me talking, let's jump into it. So for my first mini boss fight of the day, I have my Apocalypse up against a Professor X. Now this Professor X is on no 22, he has Power Snack, Outlast, Backup Recovery and Champion Boost in Health. Uh, so going into this fight I knew that the power levels for Professor X will be problematic at times, so it was just a simple case of me aggressively baiting out those SB1s and SB2s. Uh, I'd also look out for the Falter debuffs, so every time Professor X inflicted a special attack upon me I would dash in and dash out in order to get that Falter expired. And then apart from that guys, it was a simple case of building up to SB1 and SB2s in order to win the video game, chipping away at his health bit by bit. But uh, obviously this isn't the most efficient Apocalypse gameplay, uh, it's only recently that I actually got him. Uh, so hopefully over time my Apocalypse gameplay improves, uh, but looking back at this fight guys, uh, I'm pretty stoked how this one turned out. Rightio, so for my second mini boss fight of the day guys, I have my Kitty Pride up against a Bishop. Now this Bishop is on no 23, he has Mix Master, Aggression Prairies, Power Focus and Champion Boost in Health. Now looking back at this fight, uh, I'm glad I got him down comfortably, I felt like I really controlled the fight well. Uh, however, if I had to look back and change a few things, I probably would have dashed into his special attacks a lot more in order to negate some of that block damage. Uh, because unfortunately, prior to this fight, I did die with Archangel, uh, so I guess I just came into this fight a little bit more hesitant and defensive than I would have liked to. Uh, but nevertheless, it's something to look into for next time. Uh, but overall, happy how this one turned out, guys.
for my third mini boss fight of the day guys, I have my Horseman AA up against a Nick Fury. Now this Nick Fury is on node 24, he has EMP, Bubble Shield, Burden of Might and Aspect of Evolution. Now this one was a weird one guys, it was a very strange fight. Uh, so going into this fight I knew what I was doing, I knew the nodes, uh, I set out a plan of what to do. And for some reason halfway through the fight this all went out the window. I don't know why, for some reason halfway through I confused myself with the EMP node and I tried to dex all of Nick Fury's SB1. I don't know why I did that, it just I just did. And uh, yeah, it didn't turn out too good for me because I lost a truckload of health and I could have made this fight a lot more efficient for myself uh, but I guess it's just something to work on uh, coming into season 36 especially uh, but yeah um, as you can see Horseman AA I do have Odin pre-fights from my teammates as well just to help with some of that EMP damage that shock um, but yeah a very strange fight guys um, uh, glad to get that one out of the way got the one shot thankfully didn't die uh, but obviously as you can see uh, very close to it. Rightio, so for my final fight of the video guys, I have my Horseman AA up against a Weapon X Diamond Mini. Now this Weapon X is on node 50, he has recovery at 200%, safeguard, indomitable and vigorous assault. So I promise you guys, unlike the last fight which was an absolute roller coaster, this fight went according to plan and completely smooth sailing. Uh, so basically Weapon X is going to be unblockable for the majority of the fight. Uh, so it was just a case of me getting up enough neurotoxins uh, to drain away his health very quickly. Uh, but that's going to do it for my own personal fights for this video guys, stay tuned because we will now move on to our featured fights for the rest of the video. So to start things off we have a pretty quick fight for you, uh, so we have Twist using his Nebula up against an Omega Sentinel. Now this Omega Sentinel is on node 32, she has enhanced armor, enhanced bleed, chitinous thorns and cutting wires. Uh, so basically going into this fight this will be a straightforward approach for Twist. Uh, he will parry when he can in order to inflict those shocks uh, before building up to an SP2 uh, but he wants to make sure when inflicting an SP2 that Omega Sentinel has a considerate number of shocks on it already and then firing that off he will win the video game relatively quickly. Alrighty guys, so for Twist's final featured fight of the video, he is using his Falcon up against an Overseer. Now this Overseer is on node 42, he has the best defense, explosive personality, enhanced armor up, and heavy handed. Uh, so as we all know, each and every time we fight Overseer, he does have access to that auto block mechanic. Uh, so Twist does have to be aware of this, so he will be replying with heavy attacks and slow double mediums each and every time Overseer does use his specials. Uh, but another straightforward fight for Twist, as you can see he will lock on to Overseer when he can uh, during those brief time intervals. Uh, but with this all being said guys, another cool calm and collected fight by Twist, um, but this will conclude his featured fights for the episode guys. Radio boys and girls, so moving on to Exclusive's first featured fight of the video, he is using his Angela up against a Havoc. Now this Havoc is on node 6, he has Hit Me I Dare You, Static Defense, Heavy Handed and Return Policy. Now going into this fight for Exclusive, he is using Angela for three things. Uh, so for the first, he will be using Angela to counter those shocks. Uh, secondly, he will be using his own SB1s in order to remove the armor ups that are on Havoc due to the node. And then three, to sustain his own armor ups on Angela in order to negate that plasma damage. Otherwise, if he doesn't, he will turn into Havoc food very, very quickly. Now, throughout this fight, Exclusive does get hit at times and he does take quite a bit of plasma damage. Uh, but I think this fight is good to show you guys because not all wars are smooth sailing. 
Uh, some more fights you do have bad RNG, reluctant special throwing, and things don't always seem to go your way. Uh, so throughout this fight, Exclusive does get very low in health, uh, but that doesn't stop him, he doesn't give up. Uh, he persists on with the fight, and eventually, guys, he does get this one shot. I think throughout this fight, he was below 20% health at one point, or there you go, 10% health. And he carried on with the fight, put his head down, and got the job done, and eventually got the one shot, guys. So overall, a pretty impressive fight uh, to come through with the goods. Now jumping into exclusive second fight of the video, he is using his Archangel up against a Nick Fury. Now this Nick Fury is on node 47, he has the nodes Rich Get Richer, Aspect of Evolution, Feats of Power and Mystic Ward. Uh, so this will be a straightforward fight for exclusive, he will be parrying and heavying his way to victory, uh, whilst also praying for some good RNG with Archangel as he can be up and down at times. Uh, but what you'll notice guys, and what I've certainly learned, is that Exclusive has reserved an SB3. Now as Nick Fury goes into his second phase, uh, Exclusive will fire off that SB3 and it sort of cancels out the full regen bar uh, when Nick Fury goes into his second phase. So this is something that I've learned, um, I'll definitely take this in consideration going into Season 36. Because uh, I am no master at the game guys by any means, I'm always learning new things as the weeks go on. Uh, so this was just something that I've learned uh, re-watching this video. Uh, but unfortunately, as you can see here, Nick Fury does get to an SP3 uh, due to the nodes uh, Rich Get Richer. Uh, so I believe Exclusive will end up on approximately 24% health by the, by the end of it. Uh, but nevertheless, a pretty comfortable fight for Exclusive. He gets the one shot and uh, he gets the dub. So uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. Moving on to Exclusive's final fight of the video, he is using his Immortal Abomination up against an Ebony Maw boss. Now this Ebony Maw is on node 52, he has the nodes Stun Immune, True Strike, Adaptive and Champion Boost in Health. So going into this fight, as simple as it may sound, this is a straightforward fight for Exclusive. Uh, pretty much wants to keep an eye on those charges, making sure that he doesn't hit into Ebony Maw uh, when the Falter is active and also rinse and repeating baiting those SB1s in order to win the video game guys. Now the last man on the chopping block guys is Obsol. Now Obsol is using his She-Hulk up against a Mangog. Now this Mangog is on node 54, he has Aspect of Evolution, Enhanced Special 2, Special 2 Bias and Improved Power Gain. So reading these nodes you already know what you don't want to do and you don't want to push Mangog to his SP2. So going into this fight you'll notice uh, Obsol has his Mr. Fantastic pre-fights as well as his Guidance Boost. 
So basically, going into this fight, he wants to avoid doing 5 hit combos as it will add to Mangog's charges. So combos such as medium light medium, or light medium light medium, or even dropping heavies in order to add to the debuffs. And then last but not least, he wants to drop an SP2 of his own in order to slow down that power gain even further. So with all of these things in place, that will win Obsolt the video game pretty comfortably. Righty o so for the final fight of today's video guys, we have Obsol again using his She-Hulk up against an Ebony Moor boss. Now this Ebony Moor is on node 52, he has the nodes Stun Immune, True Strike, Adaptive and Champion Boost in Health. Uh, so going into this fight, not an awful lot to explain here, uh, basically Obsol wants to get Ebony Moor into a corner in order to spam those heavy attacks, uh, whilst simultaneously looking out for that Falter debuff, making sure he doesn't hit Ebony Moor uh, whilst that Falter is active. And then basically just baiting those SB1s in order to win the video game. Uh, so some really good fighting here from Obsol, I felt like he controlled the fight really really well. But with all of this being said guys, this will conclude all of the fights for today's video. And that's a wrap. As you can see here guys, we ended up winning this war pretty comfortably. Uh, so first and foremost, a big shout out to the boys in my alliance. So we have Twist, Exclusive and Obsol, uh, just for sending their clips through today. It's been fun. And also a big shout out to our alliance war MVPs. So we have Kara, SCCP and Obsol. But that's gonna do it guys. I know this was quite an extensive video today. Uh, there was a lot to get through, but there was just so many different fights and so many different matchups I just wanted to showcase to you guys. Uh, but nevertheless, that's gonna do it. It's been fun and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Cheers guys. Rightio boys and girls, with all of that being said and out of the way, this will conclude the rest of the video. So if you guys have made it this far, feel free to drop a like and to leave a comment down below, it'd be greatly appreciated. But that's going to do it boys and girls, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been your boy Slug, and uh, I'm out. Peace!